Uh, also, these stones on the side of the road as well is very common in the town. Hi, and welcome to another daily challenge video. Yes, I had five very good rounds uh, in Ecuador, uh, Senegal, uh, UK, Sweden, and Israel. I was a bit far away in Israel, um, but I still ended up uh, with a gold score of 23,900 points. So only a thousand points away from my goal of uh, 25k. So let's see if I can do it uh, today. Okay, so first of all, uh, we are in. I was going to say we are in uh, Canada, but I don't think we are. We have a road number 22. Pretty sure that's French for West. The palm trees don't match up. Uh, it's uh, Spanish. Uh, so we are in uh, Puerto Rico. Oops, wrong place. That's a 22. So let's see if I, find, if I can find out where number 2 and 22 cross. Yeah, so to the northwest we have road two. To the west uh, we have a road number two. So I think we are started around here somewhere. Let's just have a look. Let's go back to the beginning. So we have this bridge. Okay, we are more or less there. Okay, 90 meters, uh, perfect score. So that's a really good start. All right, round two. See where the sun is. Uh, the sun is to the west. So that's, uh, that's no help. I think we're in Europe. And now I don't think we're in Europe anymore. Now I'm pretty sure we are in Britain. Uh, so have a look. Um, uh, yeah, so red number plates uh, are something you see in Britain. But also these stones on the side of the road as well is very common in Bhutan. And if we look at the uh, the uh, houses, uh, they are also very typical of Bhutan. So I'm not sure. I'm not sure if we're too far away from the uh, capital. Uh, there are a lot of buildings here. Let's have a look. Monga. Uh, see if I can find Monga. Among guys here, so we are quite far away from the capital. Uh, 
So let's go back to the beginning. So it starts somewhere like here. We will start here. Okay, so not quite a perfect score. Um, we did start here. That's a good score for guitar, and especially when it's not in the capital. So I, I'm quite happy with that. Okay, this looks like Norway based on the um, lines, but no, maybe not. Because these yellow uh, bollards are something you see in Iceland. So I think we're in Iceland. And um, just to confirm that uh, we are in Iceland, there's some Icelandic, uh, Icelandic language as well. I was hoping I would get to a junction over here, but um, I don't think I'm going to be able to get there in time, or at least somewhere where I can see, see some more of the features. That looks like a river. Oh, actually, that's an airport. So we can see a runway here. I don't know which airport this is. So we have, yeah, either a river or a fjord north. That's basically just a runway. B. A21. Uh, okay. A21 is it? Is that Akureyri Airport? It kind of has to be, doesn't it? Um, Start somewhere around here. Maybe we come out there. I yeah, Shana Landu. Okay, actually, perfect score. So that's not too bad at all. Okay, very good round. A bit lucky, uh, but still got a. Okay, so there's some Chinese characters here. We're driving on the right, so we're in Taiwan. These do not look like Taiwanese uh, road numbers. Have a look at this the coach there, but no, nothing. Have a look anyway. I'm checking my cow.
well, to be fair, I would expect things to be in Portuguese if, if it was Macau. Yeah, this is quite confusing for me because we have stuff in Chinese. Uh, and and we're driving on the right, but we don't have anything else that suggests that this is in Taiwan. Road numbers don't fit. Uh, parkings in general do not fit. Oh, there we go, 18. That's, that's definitely a Taiwan. Oh, I think it's here. Okay, so I'm not going to be too far away. I was up there. Oh, so we got to the 18, so not quite a perfect score. Um, I did see 159, we saw. So I didn't see... I, di I didn't see um, any other ro road numbers, so... I've not seen too many of these road numbers in the square or angular white uh, lines. I'm used to the um, either having a Chinese character in front or behind it, or or be in the shape of the road number three or the road number eighteen. So uh, a good score, but I they probably could have done a lot better there. Right, final round. This looks like. South America looking at this. Uh, yes, we're in Ecuador on E48, so really good road numbers this time, even though I've, I missed the uh, uh, missed the one the last round. So E48, see if I can find it. So I think the one that just says 48 is actually E48. Um, I've seen it before that the uh, that the road numbers on uh, on Ecuadorian roads, uh, uh, if they have a green a green background, they won't have the E number in from uh, in Google Maps.
So really what I'm looking for now is either sign with another kilometer marker or I just one up here. Going south, the kilometer the markers go down. So we are probably 118 kilometers from uh, the start of the road here. A bit difficult to gauge exactly, but I'm guessing we're somewhere around here. But we'll see in a moment. Oh, we're a lot further north, but not too bad. Uh, but all in all, it's, it was pretty good. So that was uh, five very good rounds. Near perfect in uh, in the time, which is quite rare. But perfect scores in uh, in Puerto Rico and Iceland. I was um, apart from the round in Bhutan. Uh, I think road numbers uh, helped. Uh, help locate the location in every round, which is also quite a So we had a good signage in this round. Uh, anyway, as always, um, if you like these videos and would like to see some more, uh, please consider subscribing to the channel, also hitting the like button and leaving a comment. And I shall see you again tomorrow for another daily challenge. Bye for now.